All right, I figured I'll do a little drama video. What the hell? Um, you know, Fake Sagan did a video, and then now Coke has done another video. So I thought I should respond to that because it was just so stupid. Uh, but I thought I'd point out, since I'm here, or since you're here, I got this letter from the United States Copyright Office. So I now officially have a copyright identification number for my YouTube videos. <laughs> so I'm probably the only person that has their YouTube video collection copyrighted. So it costs 35 bucks, but you know, it's a piece of paper anyway. I did it basically for the court thing, you know, just because the law sort of says that you sort of have to do it when you're gonna sue. I mean, technically you aren't supposed to need to have them copyrighted officially, but if you read the law, you kind of do. So it was worth the 35 bucks just to be safe. So anyway, um, so moving on. Uh, okay, Fake Sagan's video. Yeah, whatever, you know. <laughs> I Look, I don't hate Fake Sagan. I mean, I, you know, I don't like his politics. He's, you know, stupid and idiotic in that direction. I don't think he's productive, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then this whole circumstance, it becomes a little hard to hate somebody who's being abused, okay? And they were just abused, okay? Fake Sagan and Ocean Ovani were abused by Captain Awesome. There's no other fucking word for it. Um, it was just bullshit. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, all this, these people, then again, I'll just, okay, so, all right, anything else to say about Fake Sagan? Yeah, well, his video, of course, he just throws in this stupid bullshit about my mental health and, well, uh, court records indicate, no, no, what the court records indicate is that uh, psychiatrists have said I have an exceptionally high intelligence, that's what they said, that I don't have any delusions, all right, I mean, it's, it's a... Uh, uh, you know, it's it's a phobic disorder. Um, you know, it's it's psychology. Yes, it's not philosophy. It's not. I'm not schizophrenic. I don't hear voices. I'm not delusional. There's not magic mushrooms running my life. So I mean, fuck you. Um, you know, also fuck the the patronizing nonsense that I somehow can't um, you know interact with other human beings because oh I'm too sensitive or too delicate or too wacky or some other bullshit. I mean it's just this is just such a disgusting tactic, and it's exactly the bullshit that I was defending Ocean Avani against. Okay, this this bullshit backseat. You know I'm just gonna label you because of what kind of hat you're wearing today. I mean kind of crap. All right, so now Goat has just stepped right into it again. I mean, he's basically defending his, it's 10 times worse to publish a naked pictures, a naked pornographic video of somebody without their permission, um, after there's clear evidence also that you're doing it against their wishes, okay, where they have begged you to erase the tape when a relationship ends, they've begged you not to extort them with it, not to hold it over their heads, and you and you go ahead and do this thing, you do this violation against this other fucking person that you had this intimate sex with. And Goat is saying, that act of betrayal, that act of obscene betrayal, is somehow worse than a lie told in a relationship about ex-lovers. All right, so Goat apparently is completely honest with everybody he has a relationship with, and he says right to the woman's face, I only love you because you have big breasts and big eyes. And if you get ugly and your breasts fall off, yeah, I'm going to find somebody else to fuck. So he apparently says that to each one of the women he sleeps with. And he, he apparently tells them about every every proposition he's thrown at some woman in a bar in his life and every one night stand he has had he probably he essentially is i guess he tells them his whole life story every little bit of debauchery um you know every little sick dream he's had in his little head in his bed okay he tells them everything all right, but whatever. It's not even about telling the truth. It's about understanding a circumstance. Again, let's go to the real circumstance, Goat. Let's talk about the real people involved. Now, you're saying that you can pass judgment on this person, although you know nothing about her circumstances for that three-month or two-month period, right? You know nothing about what was going on in her life, but you're going to sit there and backseat drive her decisions, right? That's what you're going to do. So, so to, the only way she can defend herself is to explain to you why she might have made a stupid mistake. Why she might have been emotionally incapable of doing what you're expecting her to have done. 
right? So now she's going to have to explain that to you. That's her obligation to explain it to GOAT. I have to publicly explain it to everybody on YouTube so they won't pass judgment on me. Is that her fucking obligation? And then after doing these videos, implying things to you, suggesting that there's a more complex truth that you don't understand, and then you'll do this again. You'll just keep walking right into this and keep throwing this mud like, like you have some right to do that. I mean, we've made it pretty clear, Goat. It's been made pretty clear. Ocean Ovani's life was not functional, okay? I mean, let's just even talk about her medical condition. Just, we'll just do a little bit of it, all right? Because it is public information, but let's make it, you know... I, I mean, I hate doing this because it's not her obligation to explain her life to you, okay? But, you know, she was in constant pain for years because of her deteriorating hips. And this is a problem she was born with. Okay, a liability. She's had to go through her whole life with this shit. Okay, and it's caused her probably a little bit of mental anguish. Caused her maybe a little bit of, of psychiatric complexity. All right, and you're just going to ignore that though, right? There's no excuses. There's just no fucking excuses for anybody to do anything that GOAT doesn't approve of. GOAT's morality stands. Okay, and it's not just your personal opinion. If you kept this opinion to your fucking self... Or PM fake Sagan with your fucking opinion, that would be fine. But no, you and your little twerp got on a video and sat there and basically crucified somebody and said they're ten times worse than a guy who exposes another person to public ridicule. I mean, you're fucking insane. There's no other fucking word for this. Your fucking ethics are in fucking sane. All right? And I'll just defend the one part that you did point out in my video. You said somehow I, I, um, I was duplicitous because I committed the same crime in my video that I was complaining about. You really are. You really have become completely idiotic. You really have lost all your intelligence, haven't you? You can't figure out the satire in that? The fact that I was doing it deliberately? I mean, I called you a fireman to insult you, okay? I called your little twat a twat to insult her, to just say, yeah, she's just a bimbo. She's just breasts and eyes, and uh, she might smell nice, but brainless bimbo, okay? I was just going to superficially, cosmetically appraise her condition, okay? And make a, a, a narrow-minded, ignorant judgment of who she was. And I was just pointing out to you how fucking idiotic that is. And I think I did it rather well, okay? But no, you want some more, so here's some fucking more. You are so fucking stupid. I mean, this ethic of yours that somehow you can make a comparison between the complex cir circumstances this person existed under and the completely non-complex circumstance that motivated Captain Awesome and somehow say what he did is ten times less a crime is, is, there's no words for it. So I will block every motherfucker who says anything positive on your motherfucking video. Even though I just unblocked 200 people, I'll be, I'll be glad to block you again if you can't understand the difference between the rape that Captain Awesome committed, okay, and the minor crime that Ocean Avani committed. Stealing no gold, stealing nothing from fake Sagan. What did she steal from him with that lie? What? She wasn't lying about having AIDS. She was lying about having a stupid relationship with an asshole when she was a little bit wacky. That's all, okay? So fuck you assholes. Fuck you!